this first story has a lot of people talking. We showed you video last week of a man shooting at a Tesla driver in a road rage incident. Now that man says the other driver should also be charged. Yeah, the dueling accusations involve new video we've obtained from a different perspective that we want to show you. Our Maya Shea spoke to that man already facing charges. She's joining us live here tonight with his account of what happened. And Maya, uh, what are you making out of all of this? Well, it seems like not. there's a lot of flame to go around, but what rises up to the issue of criminal charges, that is the difference in debate. One man already charged. He's already going to the courthouse, going through the system. He says the other man also bears some of the blame, but the district attorney disagrees. Watch this video. The Tesla brake checks repeatedly while James Young was driving behind him and his wife is on the passenger side with her cell phone recording. When he was in a very fast vehicle, he could have hit the gas and went and parked and waited for the police like he reported he did, but he did not. He chose to continue to provoke us. That provocation led to this. Young getting out of his car with a gun and firing into the Tesla. Last week, he was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and the driver of the Tesla, Chris Herkelrade, said he's the victim. I tried to flee the situation by taking a next exit, but unfortunately, he was able to maneuver and get onto the same exit, and at that point, he pinned me on an uh, exit ramp and proceeded to get out of his truck, point a gun at my windshield and just started opening fire as I passed him. But today, community activists stood by Young and presented the second video, demanding that Harkleroyd also face criminal charges. There should not have been just one arrest. It should have been two. Accountability breeds responsibility. You want to hold this man accountable for what he did, but let's look at the big picture. But the district attorney's office disagreed, saying in part in a statement, it is never acceptable to settle a traffic dispute with a gun. Based on the evidence presented to prosecutors, the defendant was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Prosecutors determined there was insufficient evidence for additional criminal charges against anyone else in this matter. Young supporters say they'll keep the pressure on. We need to get all of the evidence and review it. Yeah, if you are a supporter of Young, you're going to keep pushing for charges. And if you're a supporter of Horkorod, you're saying, hey, the bad guy's already been charged and we'll just see you in court. So both sides feel like they're in the right. And that is why a court will make that ultimate decision.